Tonight, House lawmakers passing a measure that could reshape how unemployment benefits are distributed in our state. News 19's Becky Buds explains. Under this bill, the duration of unemployment benefits would be directly tied to the state's unemployment rate. Right now, the state provides up to 20 weeks of benefits to laid off workers. Under this bill, South Carolinians could receive benefits for up to 12 weeks when the unemployment rate is 5.5% or lower. However, if the rate increases, so does the number of weeks, with a maximum of 20 weeks available if the unemployment rate surpasses 9%. House Republicans like Representative Mike Akaski are praising its passage as a step to support small businesses and strengthen South Carolina's workforce. Uh, it saves our businesses from paying more taxes than they need to pay because folks who are on an unemployment, when there are 161,000 jobs, need to do something other than just take money from the government. Republicans tweaked the bill to calculate the jobless rate every quarter instead of every six months. The change garnered bipartisan support from Democrats like Representative Gilda Cobb Hunter, who voiced concern over the bill's impact in rural areas. Or so in rural community, the ultimate barrier is that the jobs don't exist. They're not there. That may appear a small change. What is bubbling underneath the surface is an effort to continue the conversation so that county by county data can indeed be used. Despite all this, Sue Berkowitz with the South Carolina Appleseed Legal Justice Center opposes the legislation. So I think that what we're doing is we're coming up with policy decisions that are supposed to broad brush everyone when in fact it can really hurt the people who need the help the most. If signed into law, it would take effect for unemployment insurance claims starting on or after October 1st. The bill now moves to the Senate for consideration. Reporting at the State House, Becky Buds, News 19, WLTX. We should point out tonight at least 11 other states have enacted legislation that ties benefits to economic conditions. Also,